Picking up right where we left off. All right, so let's go into the player blueprint because we need to add a variable in here called cra crafting list. And now this is going to be an item name enumerator reference and it's going to be an array because we might pick up a bunch of items and be really, really cool. All right, so now to default, I'm just gonna set health potion and mana potion. Now any item in your list up here that you want craftable, remember you gotta set the recipe and all that jazz. But for now, where is my play? Oh. All right, so let's go into our player blueprint, into the event graph, and find some empty space. We need to do a little bit of organizing. Okay, we'll do that in a future video. But right here, I'm just going to add an event on C. Now let's do it the proper way. All right, so in the project settings, we'll add an input. I was just gonna put it on a C key input, but we'll do it the right way. So this will be our craft screen. I'm going to bind it to the C key. You can use whatever you like. And now when I type oh, craft screen, we need to see if we have a craft screen open. C S open question mark craft screen open. Set that to a boolean and back to a singular. Going to add a branch and hook that up right there. So on false, we want to open it. True, we want to close it, just like always. So I'm going to create widget. Crafting screen. Return value, we're going to promote it to a variable because we're going to need it later on. Crafting screen underscore w. Then we will add to viewport. Now from the return value here, we can drag off and do a remove from parent and go ahead and set up the true side just like that. And then from the add to viewport, we can set CS open true. And from the remove from parent, we can set it back to false. So if I try that out real quick, then yeah, it's opening and closing, right? Just like we want. So now inside the crafting screen, there's some things we need to do. So I'm gonna go into the event graph, and on event construct, I want to cast to my play player blueprint, get the player character as the object, and I wanna get the crafting list. Now from here, I want to do a for each loop. Because for each item in the crafting list, we need to get the info. So I'm going to get data table row from the array element of our crafting list. I'm going to do an enum to string and then plug that string into the row name after I set it to item info. Hopefully it didn't. Okay, it should be fine. All right, so we're casting to the player. We're looping. We're getting everything. So if the row is found, then we want to create a widget that is our crafting screen icon. And we can just plug our item info in just like that. Oh wait, let's move this over just a little bit. So we'll do a branch right here because we need to break this open and find out if it needs fire. So if false, then we'll create the widget and we want to add it to our base crafting menu. So I'll grab out my base crafting menu, add child to uniform grid, the content will be this, and so let's see, the row, promote to variable, this will be B row, base row, promote this one to B 
column and then we need to have a B column length which will be how many items in each you know in each row I don't know if that was a gunshot I don't know if y'all heard that but I'm gonna default that B column length to 5 and then at the end we want to increment our B column length or B, B column not the length but the actual B column positioning so it'll be 1 2 3 4 etc then from the result we want to see if it's greater than or equal to our B column length we'll add a branch and if so then we want to set nope set the B column back to 0 and then increment our B increment our brow <laughs> just like that alright so now on the true side so it does need fire then we're basically gonna do a lot of the same stuff so what we can do is just box select these four things control C and control V plug the item info here because we're still creating the crafting icon we're just adding it to a different target so this will go into our cookables list now this is going to be promoted to a variable called C row for cookables row or crow let's see C column and then C column length compile real quick so that I can uh oh default that to 5 now for the increment on the first one we want to increment our C column then when we do we want to see if it's greater than or equal to our C column length if it is then we set C column back to 0 get our crow and increment that one so just like that and now we have two lists of craftables so if I come in here let's see I'm gonna go into my item info data table I'm gonna set the mana potion to need fire and the other one to not so that when I open it up now you'll see the mana potions up here where it doesn't need fire and the health potions down here where it does might need to upgrade the size of that thing because that's pretty small for that or reduce the size of the buttons I don't know which way we'll go about it but let's take a look here eight minutes alright so we got that part done so what we can do is uh, we'll cut this one here to keep it short and then the next one we'll start setting up all the the actual like you click the button, check your inventory, and craft this thing. So I will see y'all in a bit. Bye-bye.